Tablets have yet to prove themselves essential, but that doesn't mean they are not nice to have around. A good tablet can be a portable TV screen around the house and a way to get some light work done away from your desk. Also with a wealth of apps for drawing, painting and making music, they are great outlet for your creative impulses. The iPad's ease of use and best in breed software makes it the obvious choice for most people. But if you don't want an iPad, other options exist. Android tablets have grown more useful and powerful in recent years. So hey guys, in this video we are going to show you 5 best tablets you can buy right now. We made this list based on our personal opinion, research and the popularity of the product. We sort this list according to its price and features. We have included options for every type of user. If you are searching for budget best tablet then we will list the product for you. If you wanted to buy one of these products or wanted to check updated price of any products you can check the links in the description. So let's get started. The fifth product in our list is Amazon Fire HD 10. It is the budget-friendly tablet in our list. Amazon's Fire tablets are not for everyone. They rarely push Amazon Prime services and apps and they are best for more passive tasks like playing games and watching movies. But for $150, it's hard to beat the Fire HD 10 which is our favorite Fire tablet. It has a hands-free Alexa capability and it finally comes with a modern USB-C port so you can ditch the old micro USB charging cable. We use HD 10 interchangeably with an iPad for more than a year. Amazon Amazon's tablet is not as speedy as Apple, but it gets the job done when all you need to do is kick back and consume. Not every Android app will be able to run on it, only those distributed through Amazon's own app store. So do your research by searching Amazon for your essential apps. Make sure to also get a standing case. The fourth product in our list is Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite. It is a cheap tablet by Samsung. Google's Android operating system doesn't offer the finest tablet experience. You will not find as many apps optimized for larger screen as you will on iPads. And some of the on-screen animations can be a little sluggish. But if you are annoyed at the limited list of apps able to run on Amazon's Fire tablets, and if you do not want an iPad, the Tab S6 Lite is the next best affordable alternative. There is even a keyboard cover that will cost you around $159 so that you can get to crank out some light office work. Performance is just okay, you will notice shutters here and there and there is no fingerprint sensor for easy unlocking. That said, the light has a nice screen and good speaker so it's great for watching movies. And Samsung S Pen Stylus is included, it magnetically sticks to the back of the tablet. It is nice to have for scrolling through apps or for sketching. It is a good deal slower so you will see the screen shutter more frequently but it is good enough for casual browsing. We use it to follow our recipe in the kitchen with no trouble and despite the low resolution screen. The tablet has decent speakers, it comes with a dock that turns into a Google Assistant smart display while it is charging. The third product in our list is Fire HD 8 Kids Edition Tablet. This is best tablet for kids. When you are giving a tablet to a kid, you want something durable and cheap. That way, if it breaks, a replacement will not be too costly. Amazon offers kid-friendly versions of all its Fire tablets and the Fire HD 8 Kids Edition site is the sweet spot of having a kid-friendly size and a wallet-friendly price. It is the exact same as the Fire HD 8, but the extra $1.50 gets you a bulky case to keep the tablet protected and a 2-year worry-free damage plan. That means if your kid breaks it, you can return it and Amazon will send you a replacement for free. You also get a year of Amazon free time service which provides access to kid-friendly books, movies, games and apps all with parental controls. For parental control service, its price is $3 per month after the first year. The second product in our list is Apple iPad Air. If you want a more modern looking tablet, try Apple's new iPad Air. It brings many of the same features from the pricier iPad Pro like slim bezels, no home button, USB-C for charging and support for the second generation Apple Pencil which magnetically attached to the slate and wirelessly recharged while stacked there. The Air also adds similar performance thanks to the latest A14 Bionic chip inside. This is the same processor as in the iPhone 12. That makes it powerful enough to pull off anything, even bulky video and photo editing tasks. There is no Face ID but Touch ID is integrated into the power button. The 10.9 inch LCD screen gives you a slightly larger canvas to work off. The laminate 
illuminated display offers a more natural drawing experience because there is less a distance between the glass and pixels. There are some complaints about the screen backlight blading in from the edges of the screen, which is noticeable when watching movies and it's something wide. The number one product in our list is Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. It is a best Android tablet in our list. If you are firmly anti-iPad but you want something powerful for work and play, the Tab S7 Plus is our top performing Android pick. It has a quad speaker setup that reveals the iPad Pro audio and the 12.4 inch OLED screen with its 120Hz refresh rate. That turns it into one of the best tablets for consuming media and playing games. Samsung S Pen is included so you can start drawing and sketching right away without having to spend extra on accessories. Like the Tab S6 Lite, the tablet comes with the Samsung Dex software that converts Android into a desktop light computing interface when you need it. Run Dex mode with the keyboard cover that will cost you extra and the Tab S7 Plus becomes a decent productivity tool. Like the iPad Pro, the Tab S7 Plus is spendy. It is more than $1000 with Samsung's keyboard. If you don't mind a smaller 11-inch screen that uses an LCD panel instead of OLED, get the Tab S7. The rest of the features are nearly the same, but you will save some money due to the less impressive screen. Both models have a version with LTE 5G in case you need connectivity outside the house or office. Alright guys, this was our today's video. If you find this video helpful for you then like the video and if you come to our channel first time then hit the subscribe button for our amazing upcoming videos. Be sure to check out the links in the description for the updated price of all products discussed in this video. Hope you have a great day and see you soon in the next video.